antenna, and uh, then you could take it off his hands for a good price. What do you think, Steve? Okay, that's that's the uh, this is the I have the antenna, two antennas hooked up to the radio, the double bazooka which I'm on now, and the G5RV. So once the station in Maine comes back, I'll be able to show the difference. But listen to the noise level. This is the bazooka, and that's the G5RV. But let's wait till the station in Maine transmits. You'll be able to hear the difference. He just gave me a S1 to S2 difference between the G5RV and the and the uh, double bazooka. Okay, here we go. I came from ICOM 7600. That's the G5RV. Which is, you know, it's a nice solid rig with a wonderful band scope on it. And I think this is double bazooka. So he's an S5 or, or S34, F3, S34 or 5 with the G5 RV, and he's an S7 with the bazooka. And there's less noise. Now keep in mind it's not a fair test in the sense that the bazooka is only up at 15 feet with cheap RGX 8X coax going into it. You get that thing up at 35 feet with some better coax, and it'll be better yet. So already it's outperforming the G5RV. Keep in mind there's pluses and minuses associated with each. A G5RV is a multi-band antenna. With this tuner I can work from 6 to 80 meters with one antenna and talk across the world with it. And with the 10 meter bazooka, it's mono-banded. You know, you talk on 10 meters. So there's pluses and minuses, but that's a little bit of a comparison there. We're clear.